Welcome to At Home Net's Feature Support Series. In this video, we're going to create an eForm. An eForm is an electronic form that resides on the website. They allow residents to provide information online. The website then sends the completed information to a recipient in the form of an email. Let's get started by going to our eForms page. We're going to click the link at the bottom that says Add, Edit, Delete eForms and then the Add button to begin creating our new eForm. In our example here, we're going to add a vehicle registration eForm. On the first page of our setup, we need to provide some of the details of our eForm. We'll enter a title. Now the full description. This is information that will appear at the top of the eForm. The auto reply message. If you would like the website to send an email to the person submitting the eForm. If not, you can leave this field blank. Send eForm in rich format. If checked, means that when the submitted eForm is emailed to its recipient, it will retain its website appearance. Screen message after submission is a message that will appear on the screen for the person that submits the eForm. Now enter a view security level. 100 if it is going to be available on the public side of the website, our eForm is for residents only, so we'll use 50. Allow only one submission per profile is useful if this eForm were being used to allow voting. It means each profile in the address book can submit this eForm a single time. Authenticate eForm submissions will require the person submitting the code to complete a validation field to make sure that the eForm is being submitted by a person and not an automated program. Make eForm freeform. A freeform eForm will appear on the screen with no box or border. Auto post to task manager category is useful if you use the task manager feature to track projects in the community. Now click continue to begin entering your eForm fields. The first checkbox will make this field a required response if checked. Indent label is for display and you can indent this question. The label field is where you enter the question you're asking or information that should be provided. You can see on our completed eForm that the driver name here is our label field. Field type is how they will be allowed to respond. The short text option means they will have a text box to type their response. Autofill can automatically pull information from the profile of the person that is submitting the eForm, like their name or address. The last field is used for comment or drop-down type fields. We will continue entering more fields by clicking the Save Enter More Fields button until we have a field for each piece of information that we need. Then click Done don't save this field or the save no more fields button. Now you can choose the receivers for this eForm when it is submitted. The receiver can be anyone in your address book that has an email address in their profile. Click save no more receivers when finished. Your eForm is now completed. It's available on the eForms page and ready to be submitted. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.